Hi, I'm Keisha from Cisco. Today we'll be going over how to configure and connect with AnyConnect on the new RV340 and RV345 series routers. We'll start by going over how to download Cisco's AnyConnect VPN client and then discuss the SSL VPN configuration associated with the RV340 and RV345. First, download the Cisco AnyConnect VPN client from the Cisco AnyConnect website. Next, run the installer to install the VPN client. Connect to and log into your device. From the home page, click the VPN and then SSL VPN. Under the general configuration tab, you can configure both mandatory and optional gateway settings that relate to your SSL VPN server. Then, under the group policies tab, click add, edit, or delete to edit basic VPN information, such as names, DNS settings, and WINS settings. For both of these tabs, click apply to apply your changes. An example configuration would be as follows. Go to the VPN tab and click the SSL VPN. Under the general configuration tab, click on the bubble next to Cisco SSL VPN server. Next, leave all fields default, but set the client address pool field to the IP address of the desired pool. This address pool should be preferably different than any LAN DHCP ranges in your network. You may also wish to change the client domain and what's displayed on the login banner. Click apply when you are finished. Then, under the group policies tab, click add to add a new SSL VPN group table. Next, type in the desired policy name, secondary DNS, primary WINS, secondary WINS, and description. We'll leave IE proxy settings disabled and the enable split tunneling box unchecked. Click apply when finished. Now to connect, open up the AnyConnect mobility client and enter an IP which is reachable from the WAN to the router, followed by the default gateway port of 8443 set earlier. Click Connect. If you have user accounts set up, you'll be prompted to enter a username and password to connect. The login banner is then displayed, which must be accepted to continue. There should now be an SSL VPN connection between your client device and the router. To quickly test this, open up Command Prompt and check the connection between your computer and the internal LAN IP of the router. Type the command ping followed by the address. By default, this will be 192.168.1.1. If you receive reply packets, this confirms a connection was successful. At this point, you should have all the information you need to use AnyConnect for basic SSL VPN connections for your RV340 and RV345 routers. I'm Keisha from Cisco, and thanks for watching.